Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 18th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun as we've had no major M-class solar flares. It's been in the C range for the past 24 hours, so nothing major to report since last night's update. Amazing images here, looking at the last 48 hours cresting into view. Active sunspot regions, plasma prominence dancing around the equatorial region. And we've got a few plasma filaments that we're going to be watching over the next 24 hours as they are ready to let loose. Looking on the right-hand side, outgoing, that is in the southern hemisphere. Pretty tall filament. And as well, look at that swirl around the equator. Looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. And as well, the coronal hole region, which has turned away now. But still, we had our solar winds packing our planet, punching our planet at over 500 kilometers per second overnight. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play tonight. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you're enjoying these images and information shared and produced here with daily events worldwide. Amazing images here. Able to see the magnetic field, the sunspot regions in motion. And here are our sunspot regions in motion. As right now, we have six Earth-facing sunspots, and all three along the equator from 3990 to 3998 are definitely regions to watch. Carrying on here, current space weather conditions, there are none to report. The solar winds are coming in at 494 kilometers per second. Still quietly, quite accelerated. Solar X-ray flux downward here towards a moderate C range. Solar proton flux, a little jump there in the last few hours. Geomagnetic activity hopping down to a KP1. Space Weather Prediction Center here, no new CME put into these models. Still expecting that more southern hemisphere aimed CME from that big plasma filament eruption I showed just a couple days ago. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, not showing any new spirals or CMEs there. So I'm going through an Earth-facing quiet. Here's a look at our solar winds. Left-hand side showing the pressure on our planet. Right-hand side showing our wind speeds. As they have been hovering around the 500 kilometer per second mark. But the pressure is on. Look at this, folks, on the left-hand side. Heads up. Stay aware and prepared. Having a look at Alaska 3, showing the last 48 hours, cosmic energy is leaving our sun. No CMEs to observe here. Earth-facing quiet, in effect. And we've got four Earth-facing sunspots. A couple of them looking pretty primed. So stay tuned. Stay subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Here's a look at tonight's Aurora forecast and into tomorrow. Tonight, a little more prevalent than tomorrow. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. As we are under 200 earthquakes, according to USGS, but increased seismicity through California and again through White City, New Mexico, Mentone, Texas region. Another swarm occurring there today seeing 32 earthquakes in the region, White City, New Mexico, and northward into Mentone. As well, increasing seismicity through California, the Gulf of California north, Alaska, minor seismicity, Japan and into the Kuril Islands, 4.3 there. And then it's gone quiet again through the Philippines plate and west into the Indian plate and deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 542 kilometer depth, Fiji.
in the largest last 24 hours. This 5.6 earthquake. Talal, Chiji, or Chile, 5.6, as well as 5.0 there, Peru, Cocos Plate, Guatemala, Honduras. And of course, earthquakes are still rocking Greece. But now they're moving into an even stranger region as minor seismicity is starting to build up in Rome. Having a look now at the Mediterranean, this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. 5.1 being the largest today, just northeast of Santorini and Colombo Volcano. But this is most interesting, 3.1 earthquake, Rome. Right at the tip of Rome, as that started early this morning. No volcanoes in the region. But yesterday we had earthquakes at Campi Flegri. All this increased seismicity at Santorini, eastward into Turkey. Heads up, my friends and family, North American plate up into the Mediterranean, expecting something big here over the next 24 hours. We're going through an earth facing quiet and also. An earthquake, quiet. Just under 200 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Livestream will be up after this update. Please stay tuned. Come on into the chat. Stay aware and prepared. Chat with friends and family from all over the planet. There's our deepest earthquake. The past 24 hours, Indonesia. Now let's have a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. And a quick thank you to everybody for all the love and support to the channel. All of the memberships that really help support the productions of this channel. And as well, all the super chats and donations to help further research and development with this channel. 96,000 followers worldwide. And I'm grateful to have you aboard and along for this journey. Don't forget to keep caring and sharing. Love and respect one another. That's a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Heads up, something's brewing. And we know what happens when I say that. Next 24 hours, something big is coming. Carrying on here, let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by active erupting volcanoes showing heavy particulates through Alaska. Of course, Kilauea and Mexico. And all of that is now funneling swirling around our northern hemisphere you can see heavy particulates north america and europe all across southeast asia as we have 76 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet the air quality is going to be nasty everywhere winter time 2025 and that's a look at the so2 particulates from the 76 active and erupting volcanoes have a look now at our world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Extreme cold temperatures, big high pressure ridge moving into North America, all the way down to Florida. We'll be seeing some record breaking cold temperatures. And watch for BC, Washington coast, and up into Alaska as you're going to be seeing record breaking rainfall. And then long range forecast, intense system erasing up the eastern seaboard into the Atlantic provinces. And then we'll watch. For the first week of March, intense system to ride up the Gulf, raking right up the eastern seaboard. Heads up and stay tuned as these forecasts do change, can change quickly. Having a look over South Africa, as you've still got cyclones there forecast for Madagascar. Extreme weather through eastern parts of Australia for the long range, especially towards Sydney. An old home of mine. I used to live in Sydney, Australia. This is a look at the Pacific Ocean. And as well the Atlantic. As we've got some very strong low pressure systems. Most of the big ones in the Pacific have broken up into multiples. But then by the long range. They join forces again. Crashing into the Aleutian Islands. And again. Eastern Seaboard. Watch for a big nor'easter here. Nor'easter, nor'easter. It's going to be a big one. 
Speaking of big ones, look at the size of this low pressure system in the North Atlantic and the long range forecast. That's going to be bringing a lot of moisture towards Ireland, the United Kingdom for days upon days. Thanks for watching tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now.